Coming up on Inside Lee University Basketball, a lot of highlights to show you. A win for the Lady Flames and two wins for the Flames as they come to within a half game of the lead in the conference standings. We'll also take a look at the fans at Walker Arena in a big whiteout and we'll chat with Lee University President Dr. Paul Kahn. All that and much more coming up. Hi everybody, welcome into this week's edition of Inside Lee University Basketball. I'm Randy Smith along with head coach Marty Rowe, the Lady Flames. Only one game for the ladies team last week, Marty, but it was a big win, Auburn Montgomery, and it allowed you to open up a two game lead in the conference standings. This late in the season, that was a pretty big win for yeah, you. Yeah, it was. I mean, we wanted to obviously play well against Auburn Montgomery with them coming in, uh, being a, a pretty hot team in our conference. and. Uh, you know, at the time they were in second place, and and we we just knew if we played well and, and could get them, that would sweep them for the for the year, and uh, would give us a little bit of cushion uh, going into the this final uh, little road stretch. So it's a big win, and and we were obviously real happy with the way we played the game. All right, at home against Auburn Montgomery. Well, we got off to a pretty good start. I mean, Auburn Montgomery, uh, you'll see, is really, really big. There's Cassie Moore, their 6'5 center. from. Uh, she's actually a transfer from Auburn. And, and uh, we did a really good job attacking her in the first half and getting her in foul trouble. And there's uh, V Messina coming in. V came off the bench and had 17 in the first half and really picked us up and, and, and gave us a really, really nice spark. That's what we've been using her for is come in and just give us a little bit of punch offensively. And, she came in, uh, obviously, really, really aggressive. Casey Addison with a great slashing move. You know, Auburn Montgomery is a really unusual team on the way they play. Um, you know, they're big, um, not real deep, uh, so they play a 2-3 zone almost for 40 minutes. And, you know, so you have to knock down some open looks, and uh, you have to really attack and get the ball into gaps against that zone. And, and, and we tried to stress to our girls to have their foot down ready to shoot. You see Angela Spann with a nice three right there. And I think that was right at the, the first part of the second half. And here's Katie Nelson, you know, our 6'2 post, who can step out and make threes. And, you know, we made a couple. I think we were only up two at the half. And, you know, in the second half came out, and, and those two threes early really, really loosened things up for us. You see, you know, uh, Auburn Montgomery right there. What, what makes them really good is the fact they, they're big with a 6'5 kid and then they got a six foot kid that can score inside, but they can shoot it too. They got three girls that can flat out shoot. I think they went nine of 19 from the, uh, from the three in this game and we went, I think 11 of 24 or 25. So it was an extremely, extremely well played and, and, and a game as far as uh, both teams going as far as making shots and playing clean basketball. You see right here late in the game, Katie getting out on the break and, you know, house and making a nice speed right there. So, you know, great win for our program and a, and a great statement for us this late in the year, uh, being able to stretch out our lead a little bit in the lead. 80 to 68, 12 point victory for the Lady Flames. V. Messina had 24 points, five boards. Allison Raider, 16 points, four rebounds, and five assists in leading lead to that win. So you get one game at home this week. And the bad thing about that is the next week you swap for three games, all of them on the road. Well, it is. I mean, we took the weekend off, obviously, you know, had a couple of days. And at this time of year, uh, rest is great. I mean, now you want to be playing games, there's no doubt about that, so you can keep yourself. Uh, you know, if you can keep yourself sharp or whatever, uh, but also you need some rest, and especially with some of the legs that we've had, to, we've had to play some people extended minutes, so it was nice. But this little road stretch we've got, we have to go to Emmanuel College, who's undefeated at home, and in I think tied for third or fourth in our league at nine and five, and then we have to go to Southern Poly Tech, uh -huh. and then we're heading down to Bruton Parker. So, you know, a, a really nice stretch for us to see, you know, maybe how physically, not so much physically tough. I know we're physically tough. I know we're in shape. I know we can handle that. But, you know, see how mentally tough we can be this week and, and see if we can hang in there and play well. You know, you've got three conference games on the road. You win two out of three or win all three. You, you really solidify this conference race. 
you got a two-game lead this late in the conference. That is an awfully big advantage to have. Yeah, we've got to protect it by playing well. I mean, uh, that's the that's the thing you want to have. You know, you can slip up one or two games, and mm-hmm. then, boom, it brings everybody else back uh, from the pack. And right now, I think there's five teams at nine. There's four other teams at nine and four, nine and five. And those five teams have kind of separated themselves mm-hmm. from everybody else. So we know it's probably a nine, uh, five-team race right now. So um, if we just take care of business and, and play well and, and try to win each game and play as well as we can, then uh, hopefully things will work out for us. All right. Good luck, Coach. Three big games on the road. Let's bring back three victories. Thanks. We'll try. All right. Uh, we'll be back with more Inside Lee University basketball in just a moment. Stay with us. <laughs> Earl's Restaurant, featuring good country cooking in the heart of downtown Cleveland. We serve a variety of plate lunches cooked just the way you like them, or enjoy simply the best hamburger in town. We're open for breakfast and lunch Monday through Friday, or stop in on a Saturday morning and have a good hearty country breakfast. Got a special event coming up? Why not let Earl's do the work and cater it for you? Earl's Restaurant, where friends meet. Fall of 1964, Mullinax Lincoln Mercury opened a showroom right here in Cleveland. Three generations of Mullinaxes have been serving you for over 40 years at the same location. For the past 20 years, Mullinax has been awarded the prestigious Lincoln Mercury President's and Chairman's Award seven times for excellence in customer service. Come visit us at 551st Street to see our new product line of Lincolns and Mercury's and give us the opportunity to serve you. He never did tell me we might be alone. How did she always make it look so easy? Sometimes you just need someone to talk to. We offer support groups to help with grieving or just talking and sharing. These support groups are another of our commitments to you. At Jim Rush Funeral Homes, we believe life is worth remembering with compassion and respect. We will continue this tradition that has set us apart for so many years. Jim Rush Funeral Homes, it's all about life. North Okoy and Wildwood Chapels. The Walker Arena here at Lee University has been a rocking place a lot of times for men's basketball and women's basketball, but never was it more rocking than it was on the big whiteout when the Flames took on Auburn Montgomery this past week. (laughs) 